What's up everybody? Lord has a new back with another video and uh, I've gotten so many requests to start doing game reviews and uh, this here is kicking it off. FIFA 20. A quick word from our sponsors. Today's video has been sponsored by Vivid Gold. Now Vivid Gold is the largest gaming shop in Kenya. For you guys out there always asking me, hey Hez, where do I get gaming stuff, gaming consoles, gaming controllers, games, latest and greatest games. Oh my god, these guys have everything. If you want skinned limited edition consoles, hit Vivid Gold up at www.vividgold.co.ke Get all your gaming gear from these guys and go follow them on Instagram. I'll leave a screenshot right here. Quick mention, you might not have noticed that FIFA 20 has already been knocked off. This here is the real FIFA 20. It has all the leagues, all the championships, and it's clearly shown on the cover. You'll see the Premier League and the EFL poster stickers on the cover. This here is the fake knockoff one. I'm going to save you the hustle. Just shop with Vivid Gold Kenya, and these guys give you legit stuff. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit that subscribe button right here, right now. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And uh, oh, and wait, wait for you guys out there who shop Adidas, you can go use uh, that code over there and uh, get 20% off your purchase. Let's get straight to it. Peace. Unrelenting rain, a weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. While still regarded as one of the best sports game series, FIFA has seemingly lacked excitement for the past few years, leaving fans begging for a fresh new experience. With the new and improved gameplay mechanics in place, new FIFA Ultimate FIFA objectives, and the introduction of Volta Football, FIFA 20 really aims to raise the bar and differentiate itself from previous installments in the franchise. I've had to rethink how I play FIFA this year. FIFA 20 poses itself as such a broad, deep, intense, realistic offering and here is everything you need to know before you head out and buy it. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith with you to provide the call today. Premier League football for you very shortly. There are some large, noticeable changes to various game modes that we fully don't understand yet, but thankfully, the bulk of the changes have been made to the pitch. On the pitch, we see some welcome improvements such as more natural fast touches and more satisfying ball mechanics once you walk out of the tunnel. FIFA 20 emphasizes intensity on the less loaded end of the pitch, the defense section, and it's pretty clear that the quick switch from offense to defense needs serious input and skill. In real football, players put emphasis in getting the defenders away from goal and that resonates in FIFA 20 if you want to get those goals going. Tackles have also seen a major overhaul in FIFA 20 and now defensive AI has also been upgraded. Defenders controlled by the user will now intercept and break from long passes, through passes, and crosses much better than in previous years. Set pieces and penalty shootouts have also been revamped. It's simply much more skill based, meaning you have more control of the shot. In terms of direct free kicks and penalties, both have a new way of how you want to place the ball. Then, like last year's FIFA, there's still timed finishing that needs you to press shoot at the right time and add a curve if you wish. This will take time getting used to, but you will love that feeling of just curving free kicks into the top corner. On to game modes. FIFA's major introduction to the latest installments is Volta Football, a merged product of FIFA Street from back in the day and the journey mode. Matches here are shorter and more chaotic than the standard 11 aside games. Fancier tricks, simplified tactics and ball flicks make Volta a mode whose main emphasis is on fun. But then again, don't expect the depth FIFA Street gave us back in the day. There are no game breaker shots in Volta and it's not easy to massively humiliate your opponents in a match. Instead, Volta focuses on the street soccer culture. Here, game atmospheres are more casual, relaxed and more expressive and freer with customization. The Volta store and challenges both unlock new gear and combine that with the ability to play against online human opponents in Volta leagues, Volta brings a more modern, fun appeal than what FIFA Street and Journey were all those years ago. Volta loads into its own section of the game and it's so immersive that I personally feel like it could have been a separate game of its own. The fact that it was entirely included in FIFA 20 is a huge plus in my books. You can play Volta online, offline, tour, story and lots of campaign modes. You can play Volta in 3 on 3, 4 on 4, 
5 on 5 and the rush version of those that don't have goalkeepers. For Volta Tour and Story Modes, you're going to play fully against AI. Story Mode sees you build progress with a character from a random pickup footballer to street football world champion. Tour Mode takes you all over the globe as you travel various seats for matches. Where I spend most of my time in FIFA 20 is career mode and I must say career mode has some major improvements and you're going to fill them. You now have a lot more customization options for your manager including the ability to create a female manager for the first time. Managers also have press conferences before and after the match. Okay thanks guys we're going to get started with the questions now. My only issue with this is that the questions repeat themselves and there's limited amount of answers and their only impact is on team morale. Don't get me wrong though, it's not a gimmick. Manager and player communication have also been revamped and now managers can reply to player messages. Again, this only impacts the player morale. Overall, it's still a nice touch. Another new welcome addition is the cutscenes during negotiation in game videos that takes you through the process of buying or selling players. You also get on-screen options to choose from during negotiations making career mode more stimulating and interactive. My only issue is that there is no audio output from the negotiation cutscenes, just text subtitles. It would have been nice to hear the negotiation proceedings. I also like the new dynamic player rating where player ratings rise and fall depending on your treatment to them. House Rules has also been revamped and sees the introduction of two new modes this year in FIFA 20, King of the Hill and Mystery Ball. King of the Hill revolves around ball possession only, which might pass as plain and vague to some gamers. Mystery Ball on the other hand has a nice touch to it. Here, anytime the ball goes out of play, it returns with an added boost to it. The mystery is which of the offered boosts it has. It could be passing boost, speed boost, shooting boost, dribbling boost, or all boosts. Games are short, and I'd personally say Mystery Ball is the most fun for me. It goes without saying that the graphics in FIFA has been sort of a backbone in the franchise, especially with the current generation of gaming consoles. The game looks incredible from the fans on the stands, the players, the managers on the sidelines, the menus, the in-game footage, and to the pitch itself. Our guys Martin Tyler and Alan Smith are also still the primary commentators in most matches like before. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith with you to provide the call today. Premier League football for you very shortly. I am personally digging the new pre and post match presentation of the game as it truly feels like you're watching the matches live on TV. There's always room for improvement and FIFA 20 brings major improvements in some areas. There is better one-on-one -on -one interaction now and the game gives gamers full control in, in both offense attacks and defense. EA did improve game mechanics but I feel like the new offense moves are crippled in how fast they can be executed. Volta Football is the perfect new innovation fans have been begging for. It breathes new life into the FIFA series which is something that has been direly craved for in the previous years. It's definitely going to appease new and pro FIFA gamers, not forgetting the casual gamers. There are some shortcomings to the career mode. Example, the transfer window ends too soon for English leagues. Scouting for new youth players are also unchanged for yet another year and there's still no VAR. Don't get me wrong though. Career mode has taken major steps forward in FIFA 20, but we need a revolution. The verdict? FIFA 20 has its flaws, its perfect iterations, its frustrations, its essentials, its new innovations, and remains a complete, compelling, realistic game. And EA Sports has been hooked on their game again this year. This is a must-buy game for FIFA fans and you guys out there looking for a cool new sports game. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It will make my day if you'd subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Leave a comment for me down below and uh, let me see in the next one, yeah? Peace.